And the next game on the docket is Corn on the Cob. <sighs> Country girls make do. Country girls make do. Messy, versatile, summer, outdoors. Versatile. Oh. What is what is the corn on the cob of video games? Your time starts now. Country girls make do. I'm really sad. I can't. I'm really sad that I'm the chef for this one. Honestly. <laughs> anything about this game that's okay yeah. bullshit yeah this one's fine hey if this you can convince better. this one's funnier uh oh god my brain empty brain empty brain empty brain empty brain empty runtime error what did the newest oh. update of ultra fight the kianta 2 make it unplayable focus it did i can't focus i'm trying to that's why i'm opening this Oh, time is up. Now playing table of simulator. Crowbill, tell me, what is the corn on the cob of video games? Uh, you know what? I I'm not happy with this answer. I'll be real. I think there is a correct answer, and I'm not sure if this is this one. But I'm thinking, here's the thing: summer has a very special social aspect to it. When I think of like a social and a summery game. Yeah. And I think Castle Crashers mm. fits for that. Like, Castle Crashers okay. is a messy game. It is, like, it has the concept of, like, people playing together, like, being little knights, fighting through, saving funny little princesses around the world, like Super Mario, but epic. And, like, that is just people hanging out. Like, when you play Castle Crashers, you're not playing it to beat the game. You're just chilling in the weekend as usual. Watching mm -hmm, Spongebob mm -hmm, and scooby doo be doo Right? And... She took the wires to my PlayStation. She doing too much. And like, I think... <laughs> like, you play those games, and they're not coherent. They're messy. A deer farts and poops itself. And... That's true. That's true. And it is just a globe-trotting adventure of four knights trying to save princesses. Princesses, and whilst usually would put some JRPG with like big travels for outdoors, I think a small adventure still fits for like it being an outdoorsy game. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Strong arguments. Open it up from Crowbill. We're gonna bring the table over to Cat. Cat, what is the corn on the cob of video games? Honey Pop 2. <laughs> what? I, huh? What I do mean, you I mean? I get ya. Okay, yeah. Would you like me to elaborate, or are <laughs> yes, we done please. here? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, okay. You need to justify yourself. Summer is, is summer and outdoors. Those are the two that I can explain pretty easily. I mean, the... If you haven't played Honey Pop 2, I mean, you're missing out. It's a classic. Mm. You're on an island resort to meet hot babes and have sex with them, obviously. That's summer. That's outdoors. You're in the pool. You're splashing around. You're in a This bitch is in swimsuits and shit. It's messy for... You know, when you... Yeah. You That's know, a you, sloppy game. But when you... You know, when you... You know, if you're, when yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you, when you know, you, you, you yeah, when, when you, when you, when, when, when you, me when, when you, your mom, when, me when your mom, put up Keep the going. me when your mom video, uh, uh, Crowbill, while you're editing no. this, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's versatile. I mean, yeah, you can play it for fun. You could play it if that's actually what you're into. If you're, if you want to see hot anime girls, maybe you're just gay and you like women. Maybe, 
Maybe you want to hurt your friends by streaming that game to them and forcing them to watch you and voice the characters and have a horrible, terrible, yet entertaining time with you. You can enjoy that game ironically or unironically. I don't really care. If you enjoy it ironically, though, do stay away from me. <laughs> just like I don't mm -hmm. trust people who would eat straight corn on the cob. No offense, I, I'll, that's I'll kill just, you. that just doesn't seem right to me. That's some fucking, like, cartoon shit, alright? You don't do that if you're a normal person. I'm... You're white. Oh... Oh, buddy. Also, it's funny. Corn on the <laughs> Cob enough. is funny. Because country Hold girls on. make Hold do. On. I do have to ask an important question, because I'm a sane normal person that hasn't played Honey Pop 2. Uh -huh. uh, and you sound like somebody who has played Honey Pop 2. A uh, hundred hours. Is there at least one country girl stereotype? Oh, in... has yes. To be right? yeah. Yes. Okay, good. There are country girls that make do. Okay. They just had to just had to ensure. Curse. Thank you. Strong argument. Another <laughs> very strong argument from Kat. Uh, moving on, Chris. What is the corner on the cover video game? Alright, give me a second. I need to look at the traits again. Let's see versatile summer outdoors. Oh no. Hey, uh I'm gonna summon in another object real quick, and it's literally just gonna be a coin that I flip. Uh where the fuck? Is coin? Wait, where actually? It's is tails. Coin? Bro, bro thinks he's two face. Uh, tails is I go for the one that I'm holding right. Okay, okay, so it's the one I'm playing right now. Okay, stop flipping the coin. My coin flip. My coin flip. Cat. Oh my god, my coin flip. <laughs> oh my god, my coin and flippin'. Please. Anyway, please genuinely. Okay, oh, uh, if God. it's Tails, it's the game that I physically can open. If it's Heads, it's the game that God won't let me open. Oh, wait, that's not the button. That's not how I do it. Roll. Okay, it's the game I can physically open. Uh, I would say Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet is the corn on the cob of video games. Uh, it's Ooh. messy. Every Nobody would shut the fuck up about how this game was a buggy mess. However, country girls do make do. I played this <laughs> game to its entirety and only clipped out of the fucking floor once. Uh, <laughs> and that was actually straight up the only bug I encountered. I never got the game to crash playing it casually. So, uh, anyways, versatile. You can go about the content of it in any way, shape, or form. You could be playing it casually with friends. Again, the summer feel of playing it with friends. The, the entire fucking, what is it even called? I think it's called Union Circle or whatever. To yeah. play with your buddies. Outdoors, you are literally globe trotting around this big giant open world to go collect Pokemon and do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, versatile, you get to do everything in any order. And it's just, it's that essence of fun, of just exploration and. But it is still a game that, like, I could bite my teeth into if I really wanted to. L mm -hmm. Much like Corn and the Cob, if you're gonna chomp that shit down and you're savoring that, uh, competitive Pokemon Sword and Shield is maybe one of the cooler, like, like, generations right now because of all of the new Pokemon that have been made for it. I've already seen, like, seven or eight Pokemon that were new to this game that got banned to Ubers, and that says something. Uh, not that they're really good, but that this game was made with competitive in mind, and they got creative with it. It is a game you could bite your teeth into. It is a juicy-ass, good-ass piece of corn. However, you can still enjoy it casually, like, some fucking nerd, you're still gonna have this at, like, your summer picnic. You don't have to play it competitively. You can enjoy the sights and whatever. I think Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's the corn cop on video games, okay? Okay. Interesting. Strong arguments all around. Here's what it comes down to for me. The feeling of eating corn on the cob, right? And you're, like, and you're holding it with your two fucking hands. Right, mm -hmm. and you're and that and you shit bite is into sloppy. that shit, and it just juices in your mouth, and it's it's great. just juices, and it's you eat great. it, and you're like, oh, this is so delicious. But then you finish it, and then you're holding like a like a like a gross chewed up you're cob holding with stick. no corn on it, and you're wet, and you've got pieces of corn all over your mouth, 
The only game that makes me feel like that after playing it is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, Let's go. This so, can't be happening. card goes to Chris. This can't Finally! Be happening. This can't be happening. Finally! White boy victory! Dalos. Another thing I think of is like Esquite. Uh, same way, if you want to get into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet competitive, you can get into the corner of the cup, you can put some mayonnaise on there, you can put some fucking cheese on there, you can put some chili, you can put a little fucking squeeze of lime on that, you know, if you want to. Mm-hmm. Or you could just eat corn off the cob and get all sloppy with it. That's Pokemon right. Scarlet and Violet to me. Awesome. I'm glad I didn't go with Ultra Fight the Kyanta 2. <laughs> you would have to fucking explain yourself to death on that one. Yeah. I mean, it, there's so much less to the argument, but yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, food time, yippee. Food time, yippee. Food time, yippee. I hate oh, food. Oh, give me the can of tuna of video games, why don't you? Oh. Easy. Fishy, easy, oily, salty. Just hey, can, can you do me tuna. a solid? Huh? Can you solve it? Can can do me a solid? And can you read the card again? Can of tuna, fishy, easy, oily, and salty. Do you want me to read the description? Yes or no? Mm, no need for it. Okay. You have uh, a minute or whatever. Uh, time starting now. I've got an answer. Damn. This one's hard, I'll admit. It looks like time is up, but I can't tell because it's a fucking sand timer. Oh, wait, no. Still going? I think it's done. I think it's done. I'm ready. I'm ready, chef. Okie dokie is first person to my left, so I think you go anyway, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, what is it? Spaghetti, what's the game to video games? One of them old McDonald's LCD Sonic games. What the fuck are you talking about? Like Shadow Basketball, like that? Yes. Though that is the can of tuna of video games. It's technically portable. You didn't hear that. You could that. put that shit in your pocket. It'll kinda you'll have like a big lump sticking out of you. You could put a can of tuna in your pocket and bring it with you anywhere. Uh you kinda need to have a you kinda need to have a can opener with you, which kinda sucks. If you bring one of them Sonic L C D games with you, you kinda have to bring like a real video game you wanna play too, which kinda sucks. But those shits are oily. You get them out of the McDonald's bag, and they're covered in grease. Um, they're fishy. Why are Sonic characters playing sports? There's something weird about that, and I don't like it. But it's still food. It's still a game. It's still Sonic, technically. Can of tuna is still fish, technically. <laughs> and I think... I think I think the, 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 the vibe of just eating tuna straight out of the can is the same thing as like sitting down, you know, when you're a kid and you have nothing the fuck else to do and you're playing on your little L C D screen with your tiny fucking fingers and barely touch the buttons. That's the same vibe to me. Alright. The Sonic the Sonic McDonald's Happy Meal L C D toys. Alright, the can of tuna of video games. It's a, yeah, alright. If if that counts mm. as a video game and not a like a, like just a toy. I, I mean, guess. Fuck it, why not? Fuck it, why not? Yeah, Yay! sure. Next, Crowbill. I hmm. I think I, I have that. an idea. Okay. I think I have a concept. Then say it. Because here's the thing. This is not a tuna salad. This is not a tuna sandwich. This is a can of the tuna. progenitor. Of something yummy, 
something kind of smelly. Because fishy is smelly, especially when a can of tuna. And something salty. I would like to present to you Mario Land 3 Wario Land. That is to say, mm. the first oh. game with playable Wario. I haven't played a lot of this game, but I do. what I do know from its concept is that it's like... It's, yeah, it's, that's Wario, baby. If I think of a smelly fucking, <laughs> like, smelly but tasty profitable character, I think a Wario, let's be realistic here. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I know, I know if there was a garlic dish it would fit better, but, like, I don't think really it would go for that. I'm still thinking of, like, it's pungent. Like, tuna can be pungent if it's, like, imagine a low-tier, like, can of tuna and you open it. That shit smells your kitchen up. Uh... It's not the best. Like, it's not just like is tuna, can of tuna is in a base form, so is the original Wario Land. That shit's unfinished. That shit, I mean, it's finished, but that shit's not, like, developed in a way to, like, exemplify what it could be. What it could be, it comes later. It mm. comes with, a like, a tuna salad, a tuna sandwich, or you put it in something else, you know. Mm-hmm. I think that fits. And, I mean, it's compact, but that... That shit was on a fucking Game Boy. Like, and I think the only part that I like is kind of iffy is the easy part. Because it's still a Game Boy game. So it's not like despicably hard like an NES game would be technically. But that one I have a bit of an issue with. But I think like out of the idea of like it's a pungent game that hasn't reached its potential. I think war- the original Wario Land fits for that. Okay, Very okay. fair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, cat. Interesting stuff. Cat, your um, turn. Yeah. Um, yeah. I need to go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna hurry this up. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to speed run this. I mean, you can go to the bathroom. Shut up. Okay. Splatoon has oh, fish in it. Oh, you're gonna have to. Ex- explain so hard has fish in it therefore it's fishy (laughs) splatoon is a game for babies i mean just look at it that is a little baby children's game for babies Mm -hmm. which means it's easy Mm. babies play easy games splatoon's an easy baby game oily (laughs) i'm getting up oily in the morning to play it you know what i'm saying (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I fuck off. <laughs> Salty because I mean it's a it's a it's a it's a competitive online game. Come on, dude. You know some little baby. You're gonna kill him. You're gonna you're gonna ink him or whatever, right? In Splatoon, and he's gonna go, eh, 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 and he's gonna kill his parents. Is that it? Is that your entire argument? Well, I, I, I have to I have to go to the bathroom. So, okay, I, I, if yeah. there are any questions, make it quick. No, I don't have any questions. Uh, go to the bathroom, and then I'll give out the card, right? You'll give it to me. Yeah, let's just. No, yeah. okay. no, 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 no. I think you can't just goes, not I give it to me because to you disagree with me, I think bitch. This goes okay, to Mario Land just because you're a little baby who plays Splatoon, like a little baby, uh, little no, baby, little no, baby, here's please the little thing. baby games. Cat, cat Wait, I don't oh. play Splatoon anymore. I I should mention this. I I anymore. don't fucking play this game You did when you were a baby. Any- no, no, I played this game up until they fucking released a sequel to the game on the same console. I don't have the money for that anymore. Okay, but- little baby. Here, Crowbill, have your have your card. Uh, well, there is three victories. The reason that, like, uh, I guess your argument makes sense, but a can of tuna is gross. And Splatoon, if we're talking the original Splatoon on the Wii U, is a game I keep thinking about going back to because of its art style, which is so beautiful, and I just, I want to eat it. I want to eat it. It looks like a, a nice, sweet, hard candy. I love it so much. It's mm. far from disgusting. I I'm not having game opinions. I'm not mad at you. I just <laughs> that was a horrible argument. You, I am the worst judge to uh, for you to have said that to. I'm sorry. We're not uh, faced with a funny little problem. We're facing a funny little problem. Yeah. Well, you see. 
Oh, the Crow Bill just won the gamers' met. banquet, didn't he? I, I just, I, I did just win the gamers' banquet. <laughs> Yippee! And Cat went to the bathroom, so we can't even be like, oh, we can play around and wait for Cat. Like, huh? <laughs> when are you yeah, gonna no. cut back in? Do you, do you think you'll just cut back in when she gets back, and then, or is this all in there? Hi, hi, Chat. <laughs> Hi, hi, chat on the YouTube hi, chat. video. Hi, chat on a hi, YouTube chat. video. How's it going? Chat, welcome to um, Spaghetti's Side Dish, <gasps> uh, the new segment here. Hey, Crowbo. Uh, oh. Are you going to cut out my entire rant on Splatoon there? Because I oh. might show this to my Splatoon friends, because they might be the only gamers who would be interested in the gamers' banquet that I know. No, I think I'm going to keep it. I, I think this, like... <laughs> <laughs> I I hate to break Shit. this to you, Chief, but this is going into the annals of history of fucking Krogel YouTube channel, so, like, you're fucked. Alright, fair enough. No, that's fine. I can say it. I'm not about to fucking play Splatoon 3. It's not in the cards. It's never gonna happen. I just... There's no fucking reason. <laughs> Welcome God, to, welcome that shit to... makes me mad. Anyways, uh, if we were to play Monster Prom, which one? Because I have all three of them. <laughs> Hold on. I do want to hear Spaghetti's bit. Oh, right. Welcome Spaghetti's to Spaghetti's bit, Side sorry. Dish. Today we're going to be going over the recipe for mac and cheese. Number one, boil the pasta and drain. Number two, make the cheese sauce by combining a fat, like butter, and starch, like flour, then whisking in the milk products. Number three, cook the sauce until it's nice and thick. Number four, add in shredded cheeses and stir well. Number five, combine the cheese sauce with cooked pasta. This, this concludes spaghetti side dish. Go fuck yourself. All right. Okay. Thank you, spaghetti. You're welcome. Hmm. So, uh, anybody eat anything good lately? Uh, I had some garlic parmesan wings uh and it was pretty nice i was pretty happy hmm. welcome back to spaghetti side dish today we're going to be going over donuts now the steps for making donuts are number one get in your car number two drive to the donut store number three go to order some donuts number five go go back home number six let everyone else eat like some of the donuts first because you don't kind of you kind of don't want to impose by like taking your favorite first in case it's someone else's favorite, you know, and you don't want to make it Coward. awkward because it, especially if you like go for it at the same time and your hands like almost sort of touch and it's sort of a tender moment, but then you're like, oh, I, uh, you can have it. No, none of that bullshit. You let everyone else get their donuts first and then you find a donut. Number five, eat the donut. This concludes spaghetti side dish. Love yourself. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Which delib? Welcome back to Spaghetti Side Dish. Today we're going to be talking about egg in a hole. Firestone. <laughs> Step one: get a piece of bread. In Mesa goes Step two: uh, towards southern area. Okay. Stamp out a circle using a cup oh God, and remove the circle from Mesa the piece Goza? of bread. Number three: put some butter in a pan. Number four, start to toast the bread. Number five, crack an egg in that bad boy. Number six, flip. Spaghetti, Number seven, this be fucking sucks. enjoy. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Spaghetti Side Dish. Remember, tip your waiter, kiss your dad straight on the lips. We can't do we that. We can't do that. No, no. <laughs> We're stealing from the wrong people. Almond break. Was that from something? Fuck. That That is from the McElroys, right? Is that from the McElroys? <laughs> Kiss your dad straight on the lips is a McElroy bit, yes. Welcome back to Spaghetti Side Dish. Today we're going to be talking about how to poison yourself. <laughs> no, Step we're going to be talking about how to poison others. Speci spe specifically. Anyway. Uh -huh. uh, all y'all, thank you for playing Gamer's Bank with me. Thank you so much I, for having thank us. You for having a, thank you for having I'm me. I'm stopping genuinely. my recording. Not you. Don't <laughs> stop the recording until what? The I don't understand. His. Are we not when done? When I say when I say and we're done, you can stop the recording. You. Fuck. I thought, but you said we were done. What? I said that uh, we were like 
the Pretty game's much done, not the, the video. The game is done, not the video. Yeah. Well, can you hurry up? I, I'm oh. sick of this. This is so dumb. Okay, 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 okay. Thank I'm you for kidding. playing. I love you Hopefully so much. I'll see you in any future installments of this if we want to do another one with other people around or mm -hmm. with another project. Up uh, until then, ooh. I have been Crowbill. I have been joined by Chris. Meow. Who you can find online. <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere. Install Catherine. my Guilty Gears Drive mods. <laughs> I'm Captain. Catherine. You can, who you, you can you find can me find in, a cave, in a cave. In a cave. If you like... listen to the voice, listen to the screams, follow the trees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, don't and... trust. Don't trust the voice in your head. Valid. And spaghetti. You can find me at www.spaghetti.gay or my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash spaghettio. Those links lead to the same thing, but you can choose because I love you. And... I love you more. And until next time, see ya! Goodbye Yay. forever. Goodbye forever. Bye! Remember, 9-11 was an accident. Okay, I'm sorry.